go down to Kaylee Hartung, who has Kevin O'Sullivan. Well, Coach, as you watch this celebration, what's going through your mind? Uh, I'm just happy for the players. It's been a long year for us. Um, so many different positive things have happened. That is kind of a bullseye on our back since day one. Players have handled it, worked extremely hard. Very emotional, just happy for the players. They, you know, they earned it, they deserved it, and um, so excited with the opportunity to take this team back at the Omaha. Number one in the preseason, number one overall in the NCAA tournament. How have they managed that target on their backs? Well, you know, really it just comes down to the locker room and the players' locker room and leadership. And I, I'm really, really proud of the seniors. We don't have very many seniors, but the juniors have been like outstanding. They just they've dealt with the draft really, really well. And um, like I said, it all starts in the locker room. One of those guys you've got to be thinking about, Buddy Reed. We saw his emotion as he headed back onto the field for the top of the night. What has he come to mean to this program? Well, you know, just to see the progress he's made from his first year, it's just, you know, it's just that, you know, it's why you do this. And uh, I told him I loved him before we went out there and just finished it off, and he said the same, and I'm um, just really, really excited for everybody. After that game one shutout, what qualities did you see this team exhibit that led them to this moment? Well, same thing all year, you know, the SEC, I think, prepares for this, and we've lost some Friday night games and came back one Saturday and Sunday, and I think the, the competition in the league and, um, you know, the grind that, we, that we've been through, I think, helps you prepare for those moments. Well, we'll see you as the grind continues in Omaha, Coach. All right, thanks. Thank you. Buddy Reed, emotional night for him and the rest of the Gators as they win this one seven to nothing. The big shot, of course, was the grand slam by J.J. Schwartz. As we look at uh, this side of the bracket, Florida moves on. They will take on Coastal Carolina. They will cap off the baseball in the first two nights in Omaha. The first game on Sunday will feature Texas Tech and TCU. Now the first game will begin Saturday at 3 o'clock Eastern as UC Santa Barbara takes on Oklahoma State, Arizona, and Miami Saturday at 8 o'clock Eastern time on ESPN2. Let's go back downstairs to Cable. Well, J.J. Swords, it was your grand slam in the fifth that really bust this thing open for the Gators. You've hit a lot of home runs in your career. How did that one feel? Well, I've never hit a grand slam before, so that was probably the most fun I've ever had in my whole entire life. Um, just running around the bases, I, I can't even explain the feeling. And just seeing the look on all my teammates' faces and all the fans, I was just, it was unbelievable. I'll never forget that. As you walked up to the plate with the bases loaded, I think it was a 1-0 count. What did you see? What unfolded? Um, just before the at-bat, I knew, um, you know, he was a slider thrower, and, you know, he liked to throw that a lot. So and, um, I faced him before, so I kind of knew what it looked like. And I was just waiting for a pitch that I could handle. And um, I hit it in the air, and I didn't know it was going to go out. But, I mean, I was so excited. I, like I said, I can't remember. I don't remember touching the bases. <laughs> but you did. It counted. All I of think them. I did. <laughs> JJ, with that game one shutout, what kind of conversations did this team have among yourselves about what was required to get to this moment? Yeah, uh, we had a team meeting after um, just the players. And we just kind of like, put our thoughts out on the table. And, um, we were just honest with each other and thought that, you know, the effort level that we gave in the first game wasn't, you know, up to our standards. So we we're just trying to put it together and, um, you know, they're our rivals, so we couldn't just let them, you know, do that to us, especially in our home field. So. Well, now it's to Omaha. Thank you so much, JJ. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Kaylee. And, uh, you know, for Florida State, I think next year, watch out for the Knolls. They're going to be something else. Florida will enter Omaha with the most wins in college baseball with 52. Stay tuned. Coming up next on ESPN2, it's baseball tonight. So for Chris Burke and Kaylee Hartung, I'm Dave Neal saying so long from the Gainesville Super Regional here at McKeithen Stadium where the Gators are going to Omaha as they advance to the College World Series with a 7 to nothing win.